Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we will continue our discussion related to optoelectronics devices and systems. In the previous video, we discussed uh, the basic uh, concepts related to study of light and also about the human visual system and its sensitivity to different colors. So in this video, we are going to discuss about photometry and some important photometric quantities. So before that just a quick recap. So we discussed that the study of light which is basically an electromagnetic wave it can be divided into two categories radiometry and photometry and all of this is done on the basis of the demarcation or categorization of the different waves in the electromagnetic spectrum. So here the Photometry, it is basically concerned with the visible frequency range or wavelength range of the electromagnetic spectrum, this wavelength, 400 to 750 nanometers. So this is the, f no, the frequency range or the wavelength range which is the focus of photometry. So basically, photometry is the study of measuring visible light, light which is visible to human eye. So radiometry is the overall thing which, which takes into account every wave no matter to which frequency range or wavelength range it belongs. Everything is part of radiometry but only the visible spectrum, the visible range is the focus of photometry. So we can say photometry is a subfield of radiometry. It is a part of radiometry. Radiometry is the broader perspective. Photometry is a part of it. So basically, uh, photometry, it deals with the study and measurement of visible light. Like other forms of energy, light energy is measured with its own units. Okay. So here the unit is not joules, okay, and it is not easy to measure light in terms of joules because as I said, radiant energy, it belongs to different, uh, you know, frequency and wavelength range. Since we are focused only on the visible uh, frequency range, light energy in order to study it, in order, in order to measure it, it has to have its own units. So, we will discuss it. So, the important parameters in photometry which we are going to discuss, they are luminous flux or luminous power as it is called, luminous intensity, luminance and illuminance. So, in this video, we will be discussing only about luminous flux and luminous intensity and also about luminous efficiency. Okay. Now, let us say we have a source of light and it is emitting visible radiations, okay, visible radiations. So what is luminous flux is the total visible power or luminous power which is emitted from the source or the visible energy or luminous energy emitted per second. We know energy per second energy divided by time that is power. So in any way you want to define it, it is the same. Luminous power emitted, total luminous power emitted from the source or luminous energy or visible energy emitted per second. Okay, That is luminous flux. It is represented by the symbol phi. So here as I said I was uh, speaking, the light energy is, is measured with its own units. Okay. So luminous flux or luminous power, visible power is measured with the help of a unit called as lumens, okay, LM, lumen. And its relationship with the conventional units of power, that is what, that 683 lumens of green light is equal to 1 watt, okay. 683 lumens of green light with wavelength 5500 angstrom, that is equal to 1 watt. Okay, this is the relationship between the you know photometric units and the normal unit. 
okay of measurement of power okay 683 lumens of green light is equal to 1 watt so basically luminous flux is the total power emitted from the source or the total luminous or visible energy emitted per second that is luminous flux or luminous power next is luminous intensity or illuminating power okay so here we know that uh, the source uh, is emitting visible energy luminous energy at a rate of uh, whatever per second the total luminous power which is phi now if we take a certain solid angle with respect to which we want to measure what is the luminous flux or limited luminous power emitted per unit solid angle and we take a particular solid angle let's say omega so then that ratio of luminous flux per unit solid angle phi by omega is called as luminous intensity it is represented by i okay luminous power emitted per unit solid angle okay luminous power or luminous flux emitted from the source per unit solid angle solid angle represented by omega so here that ratio phi by omega luminous flux by solid angle that gives us luminous intensity and the unit of luminous intensity is lumen lumens per steradian or candela okay one candela is one lumen per one steradian okay that is the unit of luminous intensity okay it is also called as illuminating power so uh luminous power or luminous flux emitted per unit solid angle then is luminous efficiency so here we know that uh, in order to you know power the source electrical power has to be supplied to the source and that electrical energy is converted into light energy visible energy okay so when from the power supply power is supplied to the light source it generates visible power luminous flux or luminous power so let's say p watts of power you know it is supplied and we get phi you know lumens of luminous flux as output so here luminous efficiency is basically the ratio of the output luminous power power to the input electrical power so that is luminous efficiency ratio of output luminous power visible power luminous flux that is phi with lumens as its unit to the input electrical power supplied in watts that is p watts so here phi by p is the luminous efficiency okay the input supply is electrical power in watts output is visible power luminous power or luminous flux in lumens phi p phi by p ratio that is the luminous efficiency okay so here for this luminous efficiency this uh, relationship is very important okay which we just studied that is 683 lumens of green light okay that is equal to uh, one unit or one unit of electrical power one watt okay so we just discussed that here 683 lumens of green light that is equal to one watt of power so here for the luminous efficiency calculation this correlation is very important okay so here we have discussed about luminous flux or luminous power then luminous intensity or illuminating power then we discussed about luminous efficiency okay so in the next video we'll be discussing about the other photometric quantities so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day Thank you very much.